A tale from Pearl Abyss, Black Desert, Twins from the Land of the Morning Light. Episode 2, A Stone That Looked Like Death. The Black Stone. It seduces the living with fierce, demonic energy that seeps through every inch of the corrupted body now host to it. Slowly, but surely. It consumes the flesh. And when no flesh remains, it begins to gnaw away at the mind. Little remains in its wake, crumbling stones that have lost their light, and the crippled remnants of a being with eyes turned red, still yearning for more. These are records of black stones brought from across the Magoria Sea. Though it is used there as fuel, it is prohibited in the land of the morning light. They are far too reminiscent of the Black Death that swept these lands 40 years ago. Wada, master of the Wudo school, heed his majesty's order. One night, Lord Dusunji, a royal secretary charged with delivering the king's orders, came to us alone with a royal edict. This could only mean that the order was to be kept confidential. As the Wudo school's young master and inheritor, I stood alongside Master Wadam and awaited the king's command. Poisoning from black stones is rampant and upsetting the order of our land. A discreet investigation must be conducted to eradicate the poison and calm our people. I hereby enlist the elite Doe wielders of the Wudo school to carry out this task. Not long ago, Personnel Minister Yi Hanjin's youngest son was seen stumbling about the capital's alleys with protruding bloodshot eyes, battered by his addiction. After that, he was never heard from again. Perhaps fearing the opinion of the people, his father locked him away to hide those red eyes that lust after the black stones. It seems the court decided that, following this incident, they can no longer ignore the threat of these stones. While I ruminated on the matter, the master gave his answer to the edict. I, Huadam, the king's humble servant, pledge my heart to his command. Lord Dosunji looked pleased, and once he'd set off, the master turned toward me. Hyun. Yes, master. This will not be an easy task. I already knew. This beautiful stone is said to enthrall any who set their eyes upon it, and at some point it was being traded in small quantities at exorbitant prices in utmost secrecy amongst the wealthy. That's why this task is so vital. I am prepared for whatever may await. I will do my very best. Those words were true. It's said that beyond Magoria, these stones do a great many things. They're even refined and processed in mass quantities. The only reason why we fear these stones is because we know too little about them. To think, if we could harness that power, our land may ascend to innovative new heights. This is an opportunity I've been tasked with securing by the order of the court this stone that I could only dream of seeing for myself. The longer we take, the easier for Jado School to interfere. This is something they'd be very keen on, is it not? That means it is likely that you and your sister will... I knew all too well what my master was worried about. Rest assured, Master. I do not wish to share so much as the same sky as that traitor, Un. I see. Then I will leave everything to you. However, kinship is not to be taken lightly. Yes, Master. I understand. 
Master entrusted me with full authority, and I mobilized all of our school's resources for the investigation. We shed blood, sweat, and tears for countless days until we finally detected minor activity in Donghe Province. And one day after a long, exhausting pursuit, Young Master! A spy's voice called to me from the ceiling of a quiet office. Give your report. A wealthy recluse from Pyokke is preparing for a black stone trade. Where? Sumo. Ha! Huh. Bookworms. You'd expect them to be smarter. I'll go on ahead then. Will you need any assistance? No. I hurriedly set off with no time to prepare. This mission has been more difficult than I had expected, and it's dragged on for too long. We tried our very best to remain undercover, but by now, Jado School will have caught the gist of what's going on. Though these black stones hold so much potential, the danger they hold is just as great. They simply cannot fall into the hands of those reckless, spirit-meddling Jado School cultists. Only we, the virtuous Wudo School, can experiment with these stones. Thus, there is no time to waste. I cannot wait for assistance. The last thing I want to see is Meiko stretch her tail. <laughs> 